Woof. All right. Ooh, what is this? Huh. The water, or the ruins. Alright, I'm gonna fly down there because I'm gonna have to come all the way back to my ship. Whoa! Look at these things. I don't think you can name the ship. Yeah, it is. It's kind of like Space Subnautica. Got that question mark over there and two minutes away. Let's see what we got here. Can we go underwater? Destination reach. We're underwater. Why we would come here. Should probably get some carbon and get our life support back up. Don't overheat, baby. Not enough fuel for the thruster again? How much frickin' fuel just to take off? That's not good. That is not good. Where the frick are we gonna find plutonium over here? I think it's two minutes away. Let's hope it's a station. At least this is a very uh, safe planet. Like, it's very inhabitable. I don't have to worry about it being too cold or too hot. Oh man, I hope that is like a station or something. Oh, there we go. Maybe that's some good stuff. Well, we're gonna have to get rid of some stuff because I have got to get out of here. There we go, guys. I don't know if that's enough. Ooh, that's not even the plutonium.
Isn't that what we needed? What am I missing here? Uh-oh. Plutonium to charge. That was plutonium, right? Oh, I gotta put it in the starship. That's cool. It's kind of neat. Yeah, this is, I think, going to get pretty intense when the uh, resource management gets... I think later on, when we start finding a bunch of different minerals, um, maybe, like, landing on hostile planets, things like that, um, you're supposed to be able to... Like, at this point right now, you can't build uh, bases and stuff like that, but from what I was told today when they put the patch out, they said that they're, you know, they're not going to be limiting things like that. You will be able to eventually do some pretty crazy stuff. So, who knows? Who knows? Yeah, David, that's what I was just talking about. I, I don't think base building was announced like it's coming next week. I think it was announced like it's there's very good possibility that there will be some. We're out and about. All right, where do I need to go? No. Too high to initiate landing. All right, good. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Oh, so cool. Look at how fast we get to this beacon. By coming out into space. flying around the planet. This better be worth it. Oh, shit. We want to mess with him. Necessarily. Let's get over here first. I don't know if uh, the DLC will be free or paid. I would imagine, like, this patch, this, um, this patch that they put in, the day one patch, is almost like DLC. Like, if you look at how much stuff they put in with this patch. Very cool. I need to get there. An outpost. Eight minutes away. Alright, nothing else down here. Oh. Alright, let's get back to the ship. I, for some reason, have a bad feeling we're not going to be... Oh, there might be some... That might be fuel. Alex Lopez, welcome to the channel. Thanks for the subscription. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the family. Oh, yeah. Some good stuff here. Ooh, advanced cooling sigma. Nice. 
Uh, well, apparently, Chills, if you heard about the guy that, like, beat the game in 30 hours, um, he was using some type of an exploit that, like, some one of these minerals, when you s sell it, he got, like, a insane amount for it that you weren't supposed to get. They patched that out. They, uh, put in more of a, I guess, a story mode. There's three different paths that you can take now to complete this game. I think that the point is still to be, get to the uh, center of the galaxy. But, oh man, there's ships that just went overhead. The flying is amazing. I cannot stress to you enough how cool it is to hop in a ship, get up, and just start flying, and know that at any second I can take off into this solar system and, uh, and beyond. That's just amazing. Alright. I gotta get used to landing on these pads. I think that would be cooler. Alright. New area. Let's go over and hit this first before we go inside and meet our little Martian man. do have a full inventory. Let me make sure we put that in. Yeah, these things I could keep on me for right now. I'll keep charm. Craft products in inventory slots. Total value, 11,000 units. That's probably a lot. It sounds like it should be. It's not that low. Very nice, thank you, man. I'm a valued customer, nice. Blueprints to new technology, a hyperdrive. Take the blueprint. Alright, FTL, propulsion drive, that allows the starship to attain a warp speed and jump between neighboring systems. User is advised to access hyperdrive systems through the galactic map. Alright, so all I need is a dynamic resonator. Um, and how do we get one of those? Build the hyperdrive and fuel the hyperdrive. Bypass ship. Oh. The sales geeks ship. I'm gonna say I probably can't just get in this. Orbital station coordinates received. The sale of the starship. Ooh. Sell items to the life form, buy items from the life form, make an offer on the life form starship. Probably don't have anywhere near enough. Oh, I got 15,000 units. This stuff is not that expensive. A lot of things that I could use. The Atlas Stone. Not uh, what I need. Look how much that is, though.
And a dynamic resonator. Alright, so we can buy one for 34000 So they definitely want you to craft one. Health level is safe once again. Alright, let's check this stuff out, and then we need to make this hyperdrive. Oh, inventory full. Ooh, ship inventory is full. I might actually have to sell some things then. Uh, let's see. All right, our ship's ready to rock. All right, the range boost. We can actually make that. Alright, mining beam labor is strengthened to speed up the terrain of destruction. The beam focus sigma. The reload accelerant. The range boost. We can actually make all of these things. Maybe the reload is what we should get. Technology installed. So we mine resources a little bit better now. Let's check this place out real quick. Alright, so your health levels have risen. Alright, return to your starship. Build hyperdrive. Return to your starship. Travel to space station. So is that the three different things that I need to do? And the multi-tool is not going to have the hyperdrive in it. Hmm... Where's my ship? There it is. Look at that big thing. Deflection enhancement theta. Starship energy shield is strengthened. Provides added protection from laser fire. Alright, that's not bad. Hopefully we don't take any laser fire. I don't know if that really feels like we're... We're going faster or not. No free slots. Build the hyperdrive. Travel to space station. We need to build the hyperdrive. Alright, this is what I'm going to do. Let's sell some stuff to this guy. Oh no, he took off! Was that him? Ah, the salesman is gone. I was thinking we could sell some stuff to him. And then we could just buy that and head out. This guy doesn't have any. Doesn't have 
passing out this side. I want to I want to check this thing out. There we go. Very cool. Alright, so I want to build this hyperdrive. They don't have a really good setup for the quest, it doesn't seem, because. Unless it's in the journey somewhere. Pathfinder, we've done all these. Here are some freebies. I know it's full, but can't we stack? I should have sold to that guy when he was here. Now he's gone. Okay, 